the earth is flat. I heard you the first down. time. If the earth is anything a sphere, new? Anything no new to add to needed. that? Anything new? I heard you the first time. Now I'll respond again. Yes, refraction exists. Refraction on a globe in atmosphere needs R. That's where I move on because of one. Given oh that your given that your globe based refraction definitely needs R, I'd like a measurement so, on no. Oh really? No. So sphere shaped air not no, needing you could, an R. You could estimate it using R. But oh, so I, so I'm, R. I'm then. happy to. Oh, I see. So does need R. R then? So you start with your concession. You could that. So you start with your concession. So definitely <laughs> got an R in it then. You could you, use. No, yeah, yeah. That's you my could win. Throw that out. That's Stop. an estimate. Stop. Right. Stop. That's an estimate. Stop. Just, you know, no, that's my win. Stop. Stop, Charles. That's where I won. Yeah, don't start <laughs> with your concession thinking this is my first rodeo. Well, I'm going to moot oh, you, moot oh, you, moot oh. you. Uh, because seven over six in standard form, terrestrial refraction. I, um, I'm just asking you a question. Yeah, no, you'd rather be the one in charge of the questioning when I'm asking you about seven over six R. This you want to be asking me stuff. Yeah, you waggle that little penis that you've got on your hand there. Yeah? <laughs> Charles, seven over six R in standard form is terrestrial refraction. You interrupted me before I got to the end of my statement and then decided you were going to ask me a question. The, I was responding your to your refraction. It's still on screen and you're still interrupting me. Yeah, you guzzle that down while... <laughs> Shut so, up! I'm going to mute, uh, I'm going to mute uh, you Oh, uh, Excuse me, you're going to um, mute me again. Refraction on a globe. Then you can assume... Yeah, that's right, Charles, you can. You do. That's what you've got on a globe in atmosphere. So, so I think you can actually be very successful uh, with that, Nathan. Well, uh, were to, to try them. R? Where did I get R? Did you give me R when I was on mute, maybe? Did you give me a measurement of R? That's the only reason I came, Charles. Yes, I still it, haven't it's, got it's what I came for. 39.59 miles. Didn't, didn't get the measurement, Charles. You're dumb. You just think a number's yes, a measurement in physical reality. And then you'll talk through me, pointing out the blurting out the number. This is where you muted me last time, wasn't it, Charles? Yeah, blurting out 39.59 isn't giving me a measurement what? in physical reality. Yeah. And talking through me saying it for a Thir fourth miles, time. Yeah, that's civil. Miles. Very civil. I'd mute me, Charles, middle of my sentence that you need to talk through. I'd mute me so you can talk straight through it. When I point out that, yeah, you definitely need a measurement of that assumption. The one you denied needing, that 39.59 you lie about needing. Yeah, where's the measurement for it, Charles? You haven't got one. I know it and you know it. And when I point out that you haven't got one and you can't get one anymore, you'll talk straight through me or mute me, which is precisely what you did and I'm really glad you did. <laughs>
I'm just asking you a question. Yeah, no, you'd rather be the one in charge of the questioning when I'm asking you about 7 over 6R. This you want to be asking me stuff. That's it. Yeah, you waggle that little penis that you've got on your hand there. Yeah? <laughs> Charles, 7 over 6R in standard form is terrestrial fraction. You interrupted me before I got to the end of my statement and then decided you were going to ask me a question. The, I was the, responding the your to your fraction. It's still on screen and you're still interrupting me. Yeah, you guzzle that down while I have a little waffle on it, you, about your R-based refraction in atmosphere. That's not refraction. That's atmospheric refraction or standard refraction. Globe refraction. In globe maths, when you've got sphere-edge horizons called tangent points. That's got an R in it, Charles. Now, either you're ignorant of the globe's claim of refraction, that's terrestrial refraction, which definitely does have R, or you're a liar because you're currently on an I don't need R tip. And you've denied it even though you definitely needed in that false dichotomy. You lied about and are grinning about now, trying to hold back that little grin about that lie. The R in your false dichotomy is the same R in your refraction on a globe, standard terrestrial atmospheric 7 over 6 R. Refraction's definitely got an R, Charles. Not ignorant, just a liar. All right. Yes, so you may Nathan, speak. If you take a look at the fish tank, uh, that has a flat bottom. And so you still have refraction curving down. There is no radius. There's no R. Uh, the point that light bends down when you have a, a, a gradient, a, uh, uh, in this case, it's sugar water. In our Earth's atmosphere, we have high pressure down low and low, and low pressure up high. Um, light will bend down. Light will bend down if the Earth is flat. Light I heard you the first time. If the Earth is Anything new? There's Anything no new to R add to that? Needed. Anything new? I heard you the first time. Now I'll respond again. Yes, refraction exists. Refraction on a globe in atmosphere. Atmosphere needs R. What you mm. have on... No. Oh, really? No. So sphere-shaped air not no. needing could, an R. You could estimate it using R. But oh, so, I, so I, R I'm then. happy to... Oh, I see. So it does need R. R then. So you start with your concession. You could... That, so you start with your concession. So definitely got an R in it then. You could you, use... Yeah, no, yeah, that's my win. You could throw that out. That's an Stop. estimate. Stop. Right? Stop. That's an estimate. Stop. Just, you know, no, that's my win. Throw it out. Stop. Stop, Charles. That's where I won. Yeah, don't start with your concession thinking this is my first rodeo. That's right, you can no. just use the R in the atmosphere. Yeah, that's my point, Charles. Your atmosphere refraction needs R. What you've got on screen is refraction. That's not sphere refraction. That's got an R in it. So you can use it. Yeah, that's your concession, my win. So, given so, that globe... Stop, Charles. That's where I move on because I've won. Given, oh that your, given that your globe-based refraction definitely needs R, I'd like a measurement so, of R before you start interrupting the question that's yeah, been the same uh, 19th 50. rendition's got but a chance through it. One. Very painful. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get to the end again for the 19th time. Given that your terrestrial-based refraction on a globe, that you can assume. Yeah, that's right, Charles, you can. You do. That's what you've got on a globe in atmosphere. That's got an R in it. And I want to know where it's measured 20 times I've asked. And uh, thank you for the, the super chat, uh, Johnny Ragadoo. Um, so, so, Nathan, uh, we have about uh, seven minutes left. Um, and uh, do you have, um, um, I don't know, any, any final thoughts for our audience? Oh, absolutely. We, uh, I'll give you a beautiful little summary, Charles. Discourse? Oh, no worries. Yes, yeah. In summary, Charles is a liar. He lies about needing R when he's got it held up in a false dichotomy fallacy in his models, and that's how he lies about it. You know, he'll smirk and stuff. But meanwhile, even though not quite the hundred renditions that Conspiracy Cats had, and obviously I got Fundy muted and chanted through when I asked him for his measurement of R, we debunked. Because he hasn't got one. So what's he got to do? Well, he's got to deny needing it. And when it's pointed out that it's being held up in full snarkot to me, he'll mute me. Won't you, Charles? I had no intention of muting you. Um, but you uh, did. It was only... Yeah, but you did. Well, it was only after you... Yeah, you did, though. You did. Me yeah, you needed to. Sense. Yeah, you needed to, Charles. We know. It's a shame. You let the side yeah. down on that score. Believe me. Believe me, Charles. I'm really glad you did.
And I want to thank uh, Crow XC for the very generous. Uh, yeah, me uh, too. Uh, I want to thank chat. all my super chatters because that's really important when I've got an R measurement that's not being given. Maybe summaries instead of R measurements. So um, the, the the fundamental question, though, getting back to step one, is like how, where you how get do you determine the shape No, no, of the no, earth? no. We know you beg the question. And, We've covered and that. I would, yeah, yeah. You're going to summarize your shot. Nathan. I'll summarize you over the top. I'll just stick you on mute for my audience and wait till you stick me on mute. There he goes, straight on mute. Yeah, right. Well, I'll summarize my point again for my audience, Charles. Assuming the Earth's sphere, step one doesn't get you an R measurement. Circle jerking constantly back to you're going to need to assume Earth's sphere and talk about that indefinitely doesn't give you a measurement of R either, and you'll never give me one. None of these fundies can give me one. And when I point out where, when they lie about not needing one, they've definitely got it in a false dichotomy. They'll need to mute me. That's right. That's how this right. works. So... So I think you can actually be very successful uh, with that, Nathan. Well, if you R, were to, to try them. Ah, where did they get R? Did you give me R when I was on mute? Maybe. Did you give me a measurement of R? That's the only reason I came, Charles. Yeah, I still so haven't got what I came for. It's thirty-nine fifty-nine miles. Didn't, didn't get the, the measurement, Charles. You dumb. You just think a number's yes, a it's, measurement it's in physical 59. reality, and then you'll talk through me, pointing out the blurting out the number. This is where you muted me last time, wasn't it, Charles? Yeah, blurting out thirty-nine fifty-nine isn't giving me a measurement in what? physical reality, yeah. and talking through me saying it for a Thir fourth miles, time. Yeah, that's civil. Miles. Very civil. I'd mute me, Charles. Middle of my sentence that you need to talk through. I'd mute me so you can talk straight through it. When I point out that, yeah, you definitely need a measurement of that assumption, the one you denied needing, that 39.59 you lie about needing, yet yeah, where's the measurement for it, Charles? You haven't got one. I know it and you know it. And when I point out that you haven't got one and you can't get one anymore, you'll talk straight through me or mute me, which is precisely what you did, and I'm really glad you did. Thanks for having me, Charles. Uh, just for Charles's audience, if you want to be on the side of truth, Subscribe to Nathan Oakley 1980 and Nathan Oakley respectively. All you'll get here is lies about not needing R when it's being held up in false dichotomy. Lies from Charles Flat of Math. Because he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs>